my name is Natalia and as requested, today I'm going to show you something very very special for Father's Day and that is this little construction here. And I know that this looks kind of odd, but this is actually something to hold your glasses. So when you're done reading or when you're done watching something on the television, you just put your glasses and then place them right on top of this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And this is actually constructed of a book. That's why it looks a little bit um, torn or cut. You can also see the pages on the back of this. And I really love the way it looks because it looks so homemade. You can really see and feel the love put into this spectacle holder. And making something yourself from scratch really shows the person you're giving this to how much you really love them. Now I would love to know what you want me to create next, so be sure to vote here in the card above. And if you want to see some of these crafty wines in the future, subscribe to this channel and why not share this with your friends and family so they can make one as well. And oh, remember to hit the bell button below so don't miss out of any future videos. And let's just begin. Here's what you need to create this spectacle holder. Ready, taking a riffing. Let's begin. Now the book you're going to use for this project needs to be about 100 to 150 pages, no more, no less. Then use your box cutter to separate the cover and the pages of the book. And then save the cover for later. In a glass or a bowl, mix Mod Podge and water together to create a more watery solution. Then paint this watery glue solution on every page of the book. And you might need to refill your mixture a couple of times, so just create some more. So then continue on painting all of the pages until you reach either the beginning or the end of the book. When all of the pages are completely glued together, use something heavy like a book or a stone or something else to press it down and leave it to dry completely. While the book is drying, search for a profile picture, just like these, and then make sure that the picture has a distinct nose, mouth and chin. When you've found the right one, make the image larger to make sure that it fits your book, and also make sure that the image is no more than 12 cm in height. Then make your screen brighter, and then place a regular piece of paper right on top. Then start sketching from the forehead down to the chin and then back up to the forehead again. You don't need more than this. Then draw a line down from the tip of the nose and out from the bottom of the nose. And it's important that these two lines meet. From the point where these two lines meet, you need to add an extra centimeter to the bottom line. And from this extra centimeter, make a line upwards that's six centimeter in total. Right at this spot here is normally where glasses sit, so make a line across this area. Then make this line here one centimeter thick, and then complete the figure by making a line downwards. And if you want, you can make the back of this figure pointy, but that's really up to you. Otherwise, just cut this stencil out. Now place the stencil on the cover of the book, and then sketch around it. Then flip the stencil and then sketch around it once again. And this is to make sure that the figure faces the right direction when it's all done. Then use your box cutter to cut the figure out. And it is rather easier to just carve one part of the face at a time instead of carving the whole figure at once. So continue cutting and carving the face until it's completely done. Now you just have to repeat the same process with the other piece. Now moving on to the pages. When it's completely solid, take your stencil, place it right on top and then sketch around it. Then take your box cutter and then start carving the figure out. And again, it's much, 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 much easier to carve out sections of the figure rather than carving the whole figure at once. So continue carving until the whole figure is carved out. Now as you can see, the glasses really don't fit because the figure is square and a nose is really triangular. So we need to cut the sides here to make it more triangular. So take your box cutter and be very very careful when doing this and then just carve it until it's triangular. 
and also repeat this on the other side as well. Now the glasses fit much much better. One of the last things to do is to glue the covers back onto the book or the figure. And of course you need to do this on both sides. And then leave the whole thing to dry completely. Once it's completely dried, you can either choose to give it a foot or pedestal from some stone, some rope or the remaining of the book. That is totally up to you. So choose whatever you like, put a good amount of glue on top of it, place the figure right on top, press it down to make it stick completely, leave it to dry and that's it. The book lover's spectacle holder is completely done. So give this to someone who loves reading and share this idea with someone who needs to make their own. I hope you enjoyed watching, leave a like if you did and be sure to check out these DIYs here to get some more inspiration. And if you want to see the upcoming videos here in this channel, you need to subscribe and be part of our lovely Tinker family here and that's Hello's Toolbox. So subscribe and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!